Welcome to our channel, where we simplify neuroscience for you in just a few minutes. Why do we respond to stress the way we do? Why do we have the urge to fight or flee in tense situations? Let's find out. Derived from the Latin terms limbus, which means border, the brain's limbic system was named so, since the structures that form it lie along a horseshoe area of the cortex. In fact, it was previously called the rhinencephalon or smell brain, since it was thought to be primarily involved with our sense of smell. Boy, were they wrong. The limbic system is involved in the processing and regulating of emotions, learning, pleasure, and the formation and storage of memories. It's also believed to be an important element in our response to stress since it's connected with the endocrine and autonomic nervous systems. Most importantly, we need the limbic system when it comes to behavior we need for survival like eating, reproduction, and flight or fight responses. There is no consensus on the structures that are part of the limbic system based on the argument that something as complex as emotions cannot be confined to a handful of brain structures. Regardless, here are a few of them that are often included. The seahorse-like structure is the hippocampus. Our brain has two hippocampi located in each hemisphere of our brain. It has two horns that curve back from the amygdala. It plays a vital role in the formation of new memories about past experiences. The almond-shaped amygdala is located right next to the hippocampus. Known as the brain's emotional center, it evaluates the emotional balance of situations, that is, happy, scary, sad, etc. It helps our brain recognize potential threats and prepares us for fight or flight reactions by elevating our breathing and heart rates. It's also responsible for learning through rewards or punishment. Next, we have the thalamus or hypothalamus, both of which are associated with changes in emotional reactivity. The former is the brain's sensory way station and is important due to its connections with the other limbic system structure. Lesions on the hypothalamus affect unconscious functions like breathing and metabolism, and motivated behaviors like hunger and combativeness. Its lateral parts are linked with pleasure and rage, whereas the medial part is linked to aversion and displeasure. If spelling cake baking takes you back to your grandma's house, you got the cingulate gyrus to think. Located next to the corpus callosum in the medial part of the brain, the structure's frontal part associates smells and sights with pleasant memories and emotions. It also influences our emotional reaction to pain and regulates aggressive behavior. The basal ganglia situated at the base of the forebrain and the top of the midbrain mainly controls voluntary movements like eye movements, posture, and balance. If you enjoyed, drop a like, click on the subscribe and hit the notification bell to catch our next episode.